welcome to chat with Matt, with me Matt. And it's day two of Jimmy's Festival, so I'm here at a boiling hot Jimmy's farm. Coming up, I'm catching up with Dick and Dom, Barney Harwood, and the main man Jimmy himself. It's all coming up. Somehow managed to get backstage. The stage is literally just over there, and uh, I'm here at Jimmy's farm. And I've only gone and found Jimmy. How are you doing? I'm good, mate. How are you? I'm very good. Very good, Dee. It's a bit warm, isn't it? It is roasting hot. And do you know what? This has been one of our best days when it comes to the festival. It has been brilliant. What's been your highlight so far? Well, do you know what? I think that the weather one is really important. But seeing Dick and Dom, very, very good. But we've got some special guests today. Um, we support the Gurkha Welfare Trust charity, which is really good. But we've got some help on the stage. We've got Darth Vader, a whole group of stormtroopers, and Chewbacca. They're literally just over there. Yeah. You can probably see them. Yeah. Uh, Chewie. Well, you know, Chewie's a cool character. He can take all weathers. Plus. He's a fantastic pilot, he just landed the Millennium Falcon just over there, that's landed um, and I'll be having a little game with that weird chess game with all those monsters that come alive. Just a casual Sunday at Jimmy's farm. It's standard. Sum the festival up in three words. Family, total family fun. Love it. Jimmy you've been marvellous, thank you. Thank you very much. Who wants to see Deccan Dom? <laughs> Louder. Who wants to see Dick and Dom? Okay guys, give it up for Dick and Dom! Come on, Dix, we can win this! That's it, well played, 
Oh, no. got my ball. Hold hey, on, man. Hold on. Dogs, do the dick, cheat. Body, body. Cheat, cheat. Body, shout out, shout out. Cheat. Hey. Hey, shout out. No, I'm doing my best dancing. So I was, I was watching Dick and Dom's balls the entire time then. Alright. And the one that came back first... Was that one bigger than the other? Well, no. his, no, hold on, his went into this side and flew off over there. Ours went round there. It doesn't matter which way it goes. They my ball and they started playing dirty. You are dirty, you like Hold on, hold now. the balls, hold the balls. We might have to do this. Should we do it again? Should we do it again? Okay. All right, bring right. the balls back. Right. Bring, bring the, the balls, balls back. back. We're going to do it again. Bring the balls back. Bring the balls back. That one onto that side. Dick, 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 And that's what happens when you cheat, you see? Yeah, that's man. my ball. Yippee. Come on, bring my ball back, Dix. Bring my ball back, that's it. Come on. So, let's have a look at the scores after that round wait, then. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, oh. Right, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right, the scores after that round. Oh, one point to the Dix. Don't worry, Dix. Plenty more time to win. And how many points to the Dogs? Two. Two points to the Dogs. How are we going to do this? Oh, this wait. is going nowhere, is it? Tell you what. Let's just have a pie fight instead. Go, 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 go! It is, it's always his fault. It's always, have you been talking to my wife? That's what she says. Are you? Like, stop, end, end, finito. Oh, God. Look at the What have you done to our lovely show? Look at it, it was all going so flipping well. Ruined it. And you've got to ruin it. Right, you lot, get off. Go on, oh, out of it. God. Hunter, leg it. Round of applause for our contestants, please. Weren't they lovely? What a mess. Hunter. Right. That all went out the window, the musical Splatoos thing, didn't it? We've been writing that for 20 years. I'll tell you what, uh, it's who was best at pie fighting. Barney, come forward. At the, the moment, dogs. what? What, right, okay, who was best at pie fighting? Was it the dub? It was the Dicks! At the moment, at the moment, it's a draw to all. Let's win this, Dicks! 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 Come on, let's win this! A moment. <laughs> well done, Dix! Commiserations to the Doms, 3 2. Uh, the final question we're going to ask you is Did you all enjoy the show? So, uh, Dick and Dom have just come off stage here at uh, Jimmy's Festival and they, they brought an old friend from CBBC, it's Barney Harwood. Well, hello, why did I say yes to this? I mean, I mean look at the state of me, I'm covered in shaving foam, I've got glitter on my face. I, I, you know, I thought I was coming to say hello and have a, you know, just a brew and catch up with the boys, but um, apparently uh, a face full of cream was the order. I mean, it's Dick and Dom, come on. You, you, you introduced Dick and Dom in the bungalow so many times, you knew what was coming, Barney. It's a fair point, actually. I never thought about that. Having said that, I used to live with them years ago. So we used to 
share flats and uh, the Nippin' Dog lived next door to me and I used to live with Dog's brother and the people always ask me, you know, are they like that off stage? And the answer was yes. The amount of times I would come home from work and it would smell like beans in my bedroom or they'd put rice in my shoes or... So yeah, you're dead right, Matt, I should have known. What do you remember about your first day at CBBC? It was terrifying. It was absolutely terrifying. So when you first, things are very different now, but when I started at uh, CBBC was on BBC One and you could only go on BBC One if you were good enough. And uh, I was on my own, I was supposed to be with Angelica Bell, but she called in sick. So I was on my own for my first day on BBC One to talk about the event. Uh, and unfortunately we had a few technical problems and uh, one of the films started to spool back and uh, I then cut back to the studio, I was left on my own and I had to get out of a technical problem for seven and a half minutes. Still to this day the longest record for someone to waffle for that amount of time. So it wasn't a great start but luckily 17 years later I was still there. You done well didn't you Bob? I think so, yeah. I'm not too sure. I, you know, I just turn up and talk, it's easy really. Have you still got your gold blue Peter badge that you dropped on your last show? Now, now why would you bring that up? Why, I mean, why would you bring that up? Because I can. Okay, um, yeah, so listen, everyone thinks I did that deliberately, I don't know why, but I, I genuinely didn't. Um, I was just very nervous in my last Of course you did, you were nearly in tears, bless you. I was in tears, it was a very emotional day, yeah, 17 years of my life just uh, coming to an end, it's quite a difficult thing now. But um, yeah, I, I did drop my blue piece badge and apparently I'm the only person to have done so in its 60 years. Uh, but you know, you've got to make an impression, haven't you? You've got to stand out. Definitely. Finally, what advice would you give to people who want to have a career in telly? Don't do it, be a vet or something else. I love it. Barney, thank you so much. Mate, it's a pleasure. You're welcome. Cheers. And look who it is. It's Dick. Hello. Hello. Um, Hello. All right. How are you? Are you well? Hot. You, you look quite warm. Yeah, it's very fair. hot here today, but it's a good crowd. Yeah, it was a good gig as usual. So Jimmy's is always a great festival. It was very fun. Thank you. It was good. You, back to the old days. Of course. I mean, why not? I mean, it's, like, it's, it's uh, similar to the show that um, you saw us do uh, when we did the UK tour last year. But it's, you know, we strip it back a bit, less sex, it's a bit more grungy because it's a festival, a festival right? version. And more muck muck, I think, as well. Someone just appeared out of the toilet, like, like magic. <laughs> it's amazing. What more can you want from Jimmy's farm, Exactly. Right? Incredible. So you're going to Edinburgh Fringe, aren't you? Yes, we are. Yeah, we're going to be at the Edinburgh Festival. Our first time doing the Edinburgh Festival. Uh, looking forward to it. Uh, we're there for uh, about a week and five days. Yeah, two, two weeks nearly. Twelve shows. Yeah, again, um, the same Dick V. Dom, same show, uh, which worked well, but let's see what the critics think. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> one star reviews. Oh no, you'll get more than one. Two, yeah. yeah. Two and a half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's be serious. So, did you always want to work in kids' telly then? Well, we'll move to this side now. Oh, so we, we did <laughs> from the age of 12. Oh, you want it, the uh, From the age of 12, we wanted to do it. So, I started as a tea boy at CBBC, and Don started as a magician, as you know. And uh, yeah, so the dream came true. Thank you. What do you remember about your first day? Did you say thank you? I did say thank you. Who did I know? Uh, him. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that first day, uh, absolutely terrified. Didn't know what was happening, didn't know who it was, what was going on. It was very nerve wracking. And a very big building to get lost in as well. Yeah, exactly. TV, yeah, yeah. TV centre, you could get, because it was circular, you just get lost. Not Winnie the Pooh, one going around a tree, you just go, keep going round and round and round a circle, there's no way the hell you were. But it was, uh, it was part of the magic. That place was just such a wonderful, wonderful building to kind of end up working in. So how did you become Dick and Dom then? From Richard and Dominic, how did you become Dick and Dom? Uh, we were mates first and we presented separately in the broom cupboard, introducing all the programmes. Uh, so because we were mates, the bosses saw that and thought, why not try them on screen? So we were Richard and Dominic on screen. But then there was a uh, Cockney props man called Les who spoke like that. And when we used to walk down the corridor, he used to say, oh, look, he's coming towards me, it's Dick and Dom. And then it kind of just stuck. And then uh, here we are. So it's all down to Les. Thanks, oh, Les. Les. Cheers, Les. Well done, Les. 20 years later, it's going strong. Well done, Les. Career highlights so far, then, of the 20 odd years? Uh, BAFTA Awards, I think that's that's always uh, a four. moment you've got where you. Four. Four. Yeah, yeah, three, yeah. as Kate three. Galloway said. Exactly. You've got four. Exactly. No, it's, um, I think it's always one of those moments where. At the time, you feel very humbled and very uh, grateful for it. You feel like all the hard work you put in has been appreciated. And then you see who, who um, is judging your category and sees all your mates. So, uh, yeah. But it still means a lot. And the bungalow, obviously, was a highlight. It was very good. Thank you. Very good. I think, I think for, for me, he liked the bungalow. I, I liked Legend of Dick and Dom. Oh, yeah, that, that was for me fun. was, yeah, was um, my favourite of everything we've done. Well made uh, Really well made. Uh, but then we did something great called Hoopla, which is also yeah, 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 Basically, yeah, everything. everything. Yeah, he's done. saying everything we're doing is Everything. Yeah, well, I was Pamela at the West End. 
Ken does another fight, everything basically. Oh, 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 this. Battle, all of it. Dick and Dog's funny all business. Of it. No. Yeah, this interview, everything. <laughs> yeah. So what advice would you give to people listening to this, watching this, who want to work so, on TV? Well, it's changed now, hasn't it? Because it's all about YouTube. So, uh, As you're proving now. <laughs> yeah, I think YouTube is, that's the way to start. Start at home, uh, film yourself, uh, learn how to present, and then send it in. You know what? You don't even send it in anymore. Email it. Uh, send it send in. Send the link of you presenting to the boss of... Everything. See, yeah, see, see, well, you don't have to send it. No, you don't have to send a link. You just put it on YouTube. No, I don't know. Because not... then they, you earn money. We've got to get into the modern day. It's very different. You now. don't need to send it to anyone because when we were uh, starting out, you used to have to send your stuff to someone and wait for someone to want you. Yeah, and now on YouTube, post. Now, now on YouTube, it's all about the amount of hard work that you put in. Is yeah, you got to judge when to the amount post of every day. I mean, you yeah, Dick and Dom, you've been marvellous. Oh, look at that, yeah. right. you, you did it in under five minutes. Look at that. Four minutes, 20 seconds. So, so, and now, and now, here's another, how many, 25? I've got about half 30 seconds. So left. here's 30 seconds of us in silence. It's good. So let me get hold on what I yeah. How long we got? Shh, silence. <laughs> Bogeys, lots of things. Cheers, boys. Cheers. So they've cleared the stage up from Dick and Dom's Creamy Muck Muck and up next on the main stage is Britain's Got Talent performers and Simon Cowell's Golden Buzzer from 2018, Jack and Tim. They will be coming up very soon. Give it up for Jack and Tim. Hello. Hello, how are you doing? What an awesome festival, ladies and gentlemen, give me a big favour, give a huge round of applause for everybody that's been on this stage so far. Thank you. Woo! This is awesome.
you. God bless you. We're gonna go now. Well, thank you so much. Thank you all had a good time. You listen, we're gonna be out, Jack. We're gonna be out there anyway, right? We're gonna come out and um, just come and say hi. You want more? I'm joined now. This was good So as you can see, I'm in my car after a fantastic day at Jimmy's Festival. Thank you to everyone at Jimmy's Farm and thank you to everyone who appears in the vlog. To Jimmy himself, Barney Harwood, Dick and Dom and Jack and Tim as well. Don't forget, like and subscribe if you've enjoyed Chat with Matt. I'll see you next time.